Yeah, five training sessions. So, I mean, was it realistic to expect the, the revolution? I'll say that word again. Uh, I, well, I don't think we were expecting a revolution, but I, I think, you know, the five training session thing, for me, it doesn't wash, really. I think everybody has five training sessions and everybody's got to go out and play. It's the same for everybody. Um, he knows the players. I know he's a new head coach. He's got to set up his stall. So I think we expected a better performance than we got. I, I agree with Donald. Uh, the most important thing was to get a win. It's easier to get up in the morning after a win. Uh, but I think there are areas there that they're going to have to... They can't come out next week and say, we've only three training sessions this week. It's got to be an incremental step forward next week because... Had it been Wales rather than Scotland last uh, Saturday, we probably would have lost. Scot like Scotland are not, are not as good as we made them out to be or made them look. So there's plenty to worry about, but plenty to work on. As a spectacle too, it was dull enough. Oh it? yeah, look, it was pretty awful to watch. But I think, look, there's issues for me in that because it's the first game, um, really that first time they met at Christmas, they didn't train, it was a real a structure and an organisation thing. I think then when you're building up to the first game as a new management group, there were so many things that were different. They had a different training uh, base, they're out in Abbottstown, now they're gone from Carton House. They had a team announcement was brought forward from Thursday to Tuesday. You look at the match day preparation itself. They arrived at the ground two hours and five minutes before kickoff, which was incredibly early for me. Why it, is that necessary? Just Well, I, I think they took a different approach. They had a walk in around the pitch uh, when they came in first, uh, talked through various things at various points of the field. Then they came in and did their standard warm-up. But the point I'm making is... All of these things were new. It was the first time you were implementing all these changes. And it almost, for the management team, it's almost as if the match gets forgotten about. Whereas now, they've gone through that. That's done. You have, you, you, you have a reference point given that you've played a game. So I think from here on in, the focus is on preparing for the very next task. What do you make of Donald's point there? Because fair enough, there was, there's a different rhythm to the match day week, but still 80 minutes is it? Yeah, to a certain extent I do agree, but the lack of, I suppose, adaptability and the decision-making of some of the very ex experienced senior players, and I know Donald's going to look at the line out there later, but they just didn't change when they should have changed, or the breakdown was a clear area problem, the referee wasn't refereeing it. You have to go in and sort it out. Like, no amount of training is going to help you sort it out. You've got to get there and do it on the day.